take a closer look at the various types of blow tank. The upper vessel is a lock hopper in which the solids are pressurized. The valve between the lock hopper and the blow tank opens allowing solids to charge the blow tank. This valve is then closed and the blow tank is pressurized causing the solids to be discharged into the pipeline. A sensor detects that the blow tank is empty and the cycle repeats. The blow tank is automatically taken through repeated cycles of filling, pressurizing and discharging. Since one third of the cycle time is used for filling the blow tank, a system required to give a mean delivery of 20 tons per hour must be able to deliver a peak rate of over 30 tons per hour. Dense phase transport is thus a batch operation because of the high pressures involved, whereas dilute phase transport can be continuous because of the relative low pressures and the use of rotary valves. The dense phase system can be made to operate in a semi-continuous mode by the use of two blow tanks in parallel, as shown in the photo on the left. Both these blow tanks are fitted with fluidizing elements at the bottom. 